For a lot of songwriters, writing believable drum patterns can be really challenging, and that's usually because drums aren't their first instrument, and it might not even be an instrument that a songwriter has sat behind if they didn't start out as a drummer. But Cubase 8 comes with a great drum machine plugin called Groove Agent SE, and with that plugin, you can create some really fantastic drum backgrounds. So let me show you how to use Groove Agent SE. And to start with, I have a clean, empty project here. There hasn't been anything added to this project, but I am going to add one instrument track. So I'm going to come to the project pull-down menu and choose Add Track and then Instrument. And then I'm going to close the browser and instead, I'm going to go to the instrument right here, and I'm going to go to the drum settings and call up Groove Agent SE. And Groove Agent SE is a special edition version of their big plugin, Groove Agent, which you can buy separately, which is why you saw both Groove Agent and Groove Agent SE right here. So unless you have purchased Groove Agent separately, it won't come with Cubase, but Groove Agent SE does, and that special edition has lots and lots of great content in it. So now that I have that selected, I'm going to click on Add Track, and that's going to add an instrument track to our project, and it's also going to reveal the control panel for Groove Agent SE. So if at any time you close that control panel and you want to get back to it, just come over to the track to which it's associated and click this little button, which is the Edit Instrument button, and that will reveal the control panel again. Now Groove Agent SE is actually two different types of plugins in one. It is a drum sample player, so there's lots of really great kits that you can find inside of it, but it also has really fantastic patterns built into it. And the patterns and the instruments themselves are all played from these pads. So if you've ever played with a drum machine before, it works exactly the same way. So what I want to do now is load some of the drum kits along with the patterns that work with those kits. So I'm going to come up here to the beat agent that you'll see in this little slot, and I'm going to right or control click on it, and I can choose to load the kit itself, which will load the drum set without any patterns, or I can choose load kit with patterns. So when I click on that, I'll get a little browser window, and it's automatically selected the right headings in the library category and subcategory columns, and now I can come over here and choose some different ones. So if I went to 29 minutes to Jupiter right here and loaded that into Groove Agent, you can see that it takes a second to load that into memory. But now those patterns and the associated drum instruments have been loaded into Groove Agent SE. So if I'm on the instrument setting right now, then these pads, when I click on them with a mouse, will play the associated drum sound. And if you play higher or lower on the pad, you'll get softer and louder hits on those individual instruments. So for example, here's the kick drum. Here's the snare drum. But I'm going to play them from my MIDI controller, which you can't see, but I have a MIDI controller hooked up to my computer, so if I played some notes on my MIDI controller, I would hear those instruments. But now let's go to the pattern settings. So I'm going to come up here and click the pattern button. And you can see that the pads now look a little bit different. They have different names on them, like chorus, bridge, fill-in, and so forth. And each one of these pads has different patterns underneath. So if I were to click on the verse A pad and hold my mouse button down, it will play that pattern. And you can see that there's a little counter on there that will show me how long the pattern is as far as counts goes. So with a total of 16 counts, this is a four bar long pattern. If I wanted to listen to the bridge, just click and hold down that. So if I wanted to try something else, I could come back up here to choose load kit with patterns. And this time I'm going to call up one called Green Diego. So when I select that, that's going to load the patterns and the instruments into Groove Agent here. I'm still on the pattern mode, so now I can try some of these different patterns. Here's the fill in, here's the verse. So now, how do I use these patterns in my project? Well, there's a few different ways to do it. One way would be to record onto the track the notes associated with those pads, and you can see which notes those are right here in the upper right-hand corner of each pad. 
So if I were to play D0 on my MIDI keyboard, it would play this pattern. So I would just record those single notes onto a track, but I'm going to show you my favorite way to do it. And that is by actually dragging the pads over into my event display. But before I do that, I'm going to enable this little setting, which is use MIDI port B for pattern pads so that the MIDI notes that are assigned to those pads don't get dragged along with the notes. Instead, I just want the notes that are underneath the pads to be dragged over. So I'm going to highlight that setting and then I'm going to just click and drag the events onto the event display. So I'm going to click and drag that pad, which is the intro. And that intro, if I drop this out of the way a little bit, you can see is actually eight bars long. That's a pretty big intro, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and drag the first verse into that. And then I'm going to use my little magic mouse wheel to scroll over, and then I'll throw the chorus on. So now if I wanted to listen to those patterns in their entirety, I would just start the playback from the start of the project. So here's my drum track. So by clicking and dragging those patterns on each of those pads onto that instrument track, it's a really fast and easy way to make great sounding tracks, even if you don't know anything about programming your own drum patterns. With Groove Agent SE, you don't have to. So that's Groove Agent SE, and next let's talk about VST Bass Amp. 